y'all. It's American Mum. I'm ready to watch episode 22 of Lost. At least I think I'm ready to watch it. Um, confirmed that Anna Lucia is dead. Um, and now for sure confirmed that Libby is dead. She survived for a little while. Uh, Jack was giving her some heroin, which I hope Charlie doesn't find that Sawyer has it in his tent. Um, and she lived long enough to say Michael. And Jack's like, he's okay. But then she just like had a terrid look on her face and then she died. I don't know if they're going to pick up on that or not. Um, I was afraid at first for Michael being left alone with her, even for a second. Um, while Jack was waiting on the, um, heroin to be brought back to him, I thought he'll go do something in the computer room and Michael was like right there looking at her and I was like, he's going to suffocate her or, I mean, I said in the last review, I, I don't understand why he couldn't just tie Anna Lucia up and then when Libby walked in, like, do knock her out or something else instead of with the gun and shooting. I just didn't see why he had to take it to that level unless they said, and they wouldn't know, you have to kill one of your own and then bring us back Goofy, whatever his name is. I'm going to find out what his name is in one day. But it ain't Henry Gale. So, oh, I'm going to have to move past that, though. Um, I enjoyed the backstory with Echo and then Echo and John finding this other hatch. But I'm ready to see what this episode has in store. So, <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let me see how your little journey goes. What do you do? Uh, where are you? Not a word. I'm coming, Walt. Lock. What are you burning? So we get the guns and we go right now. Just the five of us. No, no, five's not enough. You said there's at least twenty of them. They've got our guns, and and we're not even sure if what you saw was. What hey, I know what I saw. Okay, so now we get to see what happened the time he was gone. Good. You're Walt's old man, aren't you? What? Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? We need him. We need him? Oh, hell. David and Goliath. I hear you're a priest. Yes. He has to confess some sins. I guess you believe in hell, then. Yes. I promise we're going to figure that out. Huh? I have already figured it out. It's got to be just the people who already know. You, me, Kate, Sawyer, Hurley. That's it. Anybody else, to... it puts him in more danger. You don't get to decide this. It's my son. It's my call. Or is it their call? And that's the way it has to be. Did they say who to bring? Supposed to give yourself a shot every nine days. All right? So, I mean, there's enough here for you and the baby for a while. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm it's just I'm fine. I just killed some people, our friends. I think there's more of us than there are of you. Light them up! It's an interesting theory. <laughs> we know how this goes. Light them up! And he still says no. Give me your weapon. Turn around. Kate. Go home. No. No. It means we got caught in a net. That's what they're calling it these days. It's time to finish this. When do we leave? In the morning. You're not coming, Saeed. Yes, he can. Excuse me. Michael wants to keep it small. Who cares? Me, Kate, Hurley, and, and him. 
Yeah, well, Hem says even though Pippi Longstocking in a damn great paper, ideal candidates for the Dirty Dozen, I'm just gonna say we might want to bring the Red Beret. It's Michael's call. Welcome aboard. I need Saeed there. He's already got the ponytail back. He's ready. Bring your own things. Charlie. Charlie, please. You better like it, mate. Clock's ticking. Now, he needs to be in timeout. There's no sense for that attitude. I just figured if we're going to war, we'd want the one guy who's actually been in a war. Is that a problem? No. He said they were intense and ate dried food. What happened to the, the sanitation Dr. White sanitized place? Oh, damn it! What's the injections Relax. for? Taking some blood. Taking some blood for what? Who are you people? Where's my son? My name is Miss Clue. Okay. I was hoping you might help me answer some questions. Why are you asking me all these Did questions? Did ever appear in a place he wasn't supposed to be? You say he was halfway around the world, but did you see? I want my son. You bring him to me right now. I want to see my boy. For someone who wants his son back so badly, you don't seem to know much about him, Michael. It wasn't his fault, but I'm beyond that. I'm still mad at him. Walt. Can I see him? So I know he's okay? I know you want to help, right? But I got to do this my way. Why do you keep saying that? Of course. Really, Vincent? You of all people. Are you kidding me? Kidding me? Did someone put you up to this? <laughs> Satan? <laughs> ah, this is play fetch. Oh, damn it. Then he finds the whole stash. Vincent! Can you throw them in the ocean, please? I hope Claire sees that. You should have broken them first, though, because they might just float back in. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to be clapped too loud. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like Locke right now. He's proud of him. I am too, Charlie. I will mourn them in my own way. He's got business to take care of, Jack. Just, you weren't there. We got caught in a net. He's using that as a... Why are you telling me this, swear? Because he feels guilty. Because you're about the closest thing I got to a friend, Doc. Aww. Because she's gone. Because they killed her. Michael, come on. What do you say, Hugo? Okay, if Hurley doesn't go, say you can go. Then you still have five. One of our people was captured by yours. So we'll go get him back. We can't do that. But you can. Here it comes. Here's the plan. And if you do, we'll let you and Walt go free. You have three minutes. Walt? They make me take tests. They make you what? We're not going to talk about that. 
They're not who they say they are. What? They're pretending. You want me to put you in the room again? Pretending? Pretending what? Okay, that's it. We're done. No, 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 no. Wait. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. Come here, come here. Whoa. Wait, come here. Come here. Wait. I'm oh, sorry. Come here. Dad, don't leave me. Help me, please. No. Don't leave me. No. I won't, man. I'm going to take you. I'm going to get you out of here, okay? I promise you, I will get you out of here, okay? Dad, Dad. Let him go. Whoa, wait. Let go of him. I love you. Whoa, I'm going to get you out of here. I love you. I love you, too. Let me go. Whoa. Let me go. Whoa, I'm going to get Dad. you out of here. <laughs> Whatever you want. I'm writing four names down. Four of your friends. We need you to bring them here. They did say... You have to bring only these four people. Wow. Michael, just them. If you don't bring all the people on the list, you'll never see Walt again. Dang. That's the paper he burned. If I do all this, if I do what you say, you get your son back. Yeah, but they didn't say to shoot. You both go free. Anybody. I think Michael has been compromised. Let's keep walking, Jack. What do you mean, compromised? His actions are not those of a man who is telling the truth. He is so good. Why would he lie to us? Because I believe a father would do anything for his son. Apparently. Because I believe that Michael may have freed Henry. And because I believe he's leading you into a trap. She helped me. She was my friend. It's not fair that this happened to her. It's not. I'm going with you. <sighs> Boat! Okay. A question was answered about Michael and his, who it had to be. So they did specifically want those four others with him. And Saeed is reading into everything because Michael approached him and said, you're not coming with us. I wonder why they want them. And they, and they know Sawyer as his real name. James Forbes is off the manifesto, which is what they would know. Ah, okay. Um, I said it earlier but because I thought I would forget it in the review, but I actually remember. <laughs> um, when Michael got to briefly see Walt, that was super sweet um, and sad and heart-wrenching and everything else. But Walt said, they're pretending. They're pretending. And we know from the dirty clothes and we know the one guy doesn't really have a beard. And, like, this is all a show. They probably have it made on this island. I mean, we've seen, like, when Claire was kept, we've seen probably where they run the tests and do surgeries and that whole clinical, very white, sanitized place. And then that nursery was really nice and nicely furnished. And then it was gone when they went back. But I don't know. They're living in the lap of luxury, probably. And this was all... A show for for him or whoever visits or finds their place I don't know I'm watching all of these for this week in one day because I want to just and then I'm almost done I'm almost gonna be done with season two so that's exciting Saeed is gonna have some sort of a plan they have a whole night to make one up before the others leave and then I bet Saeed follows or something, somehow. Because they need him there. I mean, they need him to, to go also. At least Jack knows now that there's something off with Michael. Because he probably 
couldn't really, you know, because people grieve in different ways, and he's just returned, he got away, and, you know, and then people have died, and he wants to get back to Walt, so he he's not sure how someone would act in that situation, but Saeed's on to it, so, yeah, getting really good. I don't want anybody else to die. I don't know why we want, I don't know why they want these four. But at the end, when Locke got up to leave, like he just released that cast off his body, and he just started walking without his crutches down the beach. Yeah, where's he going? That's all I have to say about that. Mm. So we've we've had the funeral for Anna Lucia and Libby. And I don't want any more. I thought it was really sweet when Claire reached for Charlie's hand. Because maybe it just reminded her like um any you know, this can happen to any of us at any time. It's, you know, it's dangerous out here. One of us could be next. We need to just, you know, I think she's forgiven him, like, slowly. But, and plus, he provided her with some vaccines for her and Aaron. He threw the drugs away. So proud of him. I hope he hadn't kept one. It's Vincent, the dog from hell. Satan told that dog, take him these drugs. But Locke at least got to see what he did. I wish Claire had seen it. But that just might take a little bit of time. He did take the baby into the ocean. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that episode. Thank you for watching with me. Until the next video and the next time. Bye.